finally, I'm live. I am so sorry this has taken so long. This is the fourth attempt that I am trying to get to use this YouTube new live app. And I have had lots of problems with YouTube recently because they've been making so many changes to the platform. And it's the first time I'm using this. And that's probably the reason why I'm having so many issues uploading so if you're still here thank you thank you for your patience and if you're still here could you t let me know where you are in the world and I really do appreciate those who are not on UK time and you know you probably really want to go back to bed um could you just please let me know where you are in the world and um like I said I am totally and utterly very very sorry I did test this early on in the day so when I did it early on today it was working fine and as you can imagine yeah when you come to do the real thing these are sort of things that happen so um yeah 20 minutes into oh gosh anyway um I will definitely share this once um I finish doing my little uh chat with you and um I feel right. Like all I need to do is calm down now because I've been a bit anxious because, like I said, I've been trying to um, get this thing to work. So, Colleen, just calm down. <sighs> right, I've calmed down now. Um, I've made some notes. So, if you see me kind of diverting my eyes towards looking at this sheet that I've got here to make sure that um, that I'm going to tell you what I need to tell you. Um, if you, I've got chat open. So, if you want to you know, put your name in there and where you're from, that will, I'll be most grateful. So um, the first thing I, um, I want to talk about, I'm going to give you a little bit about my background. So my background is that um, I'm um, a fashion design lecturer. Um, I'm a certified or qualified teaching of fashion design, pattern drafting and garment construction. And I've been doing that for, at university level further education for, an, for about 10 years plus and then been online for about, I think it's about seven years now. So I've got a lot of experience of teaching in that area and I've also taught in schools along the lines of textiles. So I've got a lot of teaching experience and I've enjoyed it immensely and I just love being on YouTube. I do like the fact that I can teach my way. So I don't have an organisation that's telling me the way I should be teaching. Um, and I think it's been pretty successful so far. So um, I'm with YouTube now, they are making so many changes to YouTube that I'm finding it hard to stay on board with the changes that they're making, like this new live now. And as you can imagine, um, I've been having problems uploading because it's been taking me 20 minutes. And like I said, you know, four attempts but I'm here, and um, they're making some more new features to to us, which is Premiere and um, old stories like um, um, Instagram, and that's supposed to be coming in the next you know few weeks. And um, so I'm happy about it, but there's so many bugs that kind of made the situation you know a little bit frustrating, like with this live at the moment. So. Please bear with me as I start to learn all these new things to help the platform of YouTube. And I like being on this platform. And also, um, if I can use live and live streaming, which are two different um, two different formats um, within my YouTube channel, I want to do that a little bit more. But it's only if you are wanting that. So I need you to let me know if that's the kind of direction you want me to go into. So, um, so I know a little bit about my background um, and I've talked a little bit about YouTube and um, I'm going to be using this again and then hopefully I won't have so much problems um, kind of like, um, you know, uploading. I hope it's going to be a lot more easy like it is, I'm assuming, on Facebook and with um, Instagram. So um, this is my first practice. So hopefully next time I do this, it will be a little bit better. So, oh yes, yeah, so one more thing. I just want to say thank you, thank you so much for the uh, the comments that I got with this lookbook project series. It really did surprise me um, that I got so many responses 
um, especially when um, I had I was trying to make up my mind with a patch pocket. So for those of you who have came up with so many different ideas, thank you so much. And they're really good and interesting ideas as well. I kind of like that. And they've made note of it so that um, you know I could work some ideas around you helping me with design features and stuff in further projects. Um, so yeah, it's quite interesting. And the fact that a lot of you, when I when I do my lookbook sewing projects, I don't really show you behind the scenes of how I do my projects. And I kind of was surprised about the fact that so many of you were asking me to do a kind of like showing you the techniques that I was using. So with this one that I've just done, I did it briefly um, so that I can get feedback about timing because I tried to keep them all in 10, within 10 minutes, apart from the last one, which is 20 minutes. Um, but I try to keep it just to make sure that it's something that you want. I know one or two of you were asking that they want to see more sewing rather than me just talking about the techniques. So that's something for me to consider in the future. So I'm totally okay with that. So what I need from you is um, to let me know if that's the direction that you want me to go in, which I'll talk a little bit um, further on. So I've just got a couple more things that I just want to um, talk to you about. Uh, I mentioned that um, you know YouTube and there's so many features that they're including to help creators such as myself. Um, one more thing um, before I go back up onto the series, lookbook series, is that um, I want to get the sewing community a lot more together. I've been doing research and it's been ongoing research and I've been doing it for a very long time. And since I've been on YouTube and there's so many amazing teachers who are in this niche. Um, it's really hard, I'm tending to find, for us to come together. And I think we need to in order to grow the industry of making your own clothing and also to educate the younger generation. Because now I'm all about sharing my skills, work, um, work experiences with the younger generation so that we can be part of... Um, this sustainability in fashion within the fashion industry and it isn't really talked about that much that sewing is part of that it's more about how they produce uh, fabrics and you know wastage and getting people to to wear more and look for wear garments from local designers and stuff no one really touches it when it comes to sewing because it we are part of it so um, I'm wanting to make sure that we can be more gel a little bit more closely. So I'm working ideas around that so that we can have that happening, you know, in 2019. Um, one other thing is that I'm hoping to next year, spring of next year, 2019, to do a meetup. And within that meetup, it's hopefully, like I've just said, people who are on YouTube, who want to come together and make it a bit more stronger platform and also people who just want to meet each other you know and talk about sewing and fashion sewing and fashion and you know things around that area um things around that topic so um yeah i know it's going to be best in the uk <laughs> somewhere in the uk i'm not sure if it's going to be up north because i live up north um, or down south i can do down south because a lot of well it's look, down south is london and everybody is aware of London, um, whether you are in the UK or you know anywhere else in the world. So um, I'm working. I've got some ideas. I'm maybe working with someone else in order to make sure that happens. So I'll keep you updated about that meetup, which will be happening next year. Um, the next thing is that I want to talk about is um, the lookbook series. I need to get right. There's two ways we can do this lookbook series. I get the feeling, and I could be wrong, is do you want me to do this series and it is me where I um, show you the fabrics that I've been working with for spring, summer or autumn, winter? And it will be, you know, like, like I've done before where I show you my designs and what I'm, what I'm going to be making for 
So, so let's say spring summer 2019, I'll show you about four or five designs. Um, do, you want, do you want to see that process of me showing you the designing and then also the pattern drafting for each one of those garments and then the, you know, the construction of the garment? Is that what you're looking for? Or is it a sew along? So for example, um, you know, we have a sewing pattern and um, we'll start off the sewing series with me or us choosing a style that we're going to be making and we all make it together and then we will make it together and somehow we get some input such as using live where I can hopefully I'm not sure with this live where I can bring people in. I know in Facebook you can do, but I'm not sure about YouTube live because it's literally only, it's quite new. It's only about two months old, I think, round about that. So it's quite new. Um, so maybe that will work. I'm not sure. And time will tell if they're going to go around that direction. But if you want to do a so long where we use a pattern and then I suppose the next thing we could do is have a hashtag so that I can see what everyone is doing. I think that'd probably be a good thing actually if that doesn't work with bringing people on so I can help people. So yeah, maybe a hashtag will be a way of me seeing your work and then perhaps, you know, helping each other out and making sure that everyone um, is on the same page and everyone's more or less finishing their, their project at the same time. So we'll have a time scale to make sure that people are kind of, um, working towards a goal so those those are two things that i really want your help with so i do let i do need you to let me know if that's the direction you want me to go in so is it just me and my projects that you want me to see make it up or do you want to do a sew along where we choose a pattern and um we sew that pattern yeah that's it yeah, so it's either one, and I've got, I'm working on a couple of projects at the moment, so, um, yeah, and one, one of them's about patterns anyway, so, um, but I'll talk to you about that on um, the community page. Do visit the community page because I want to make sure that you are updated with anything that I'm doing on the channel, and I do think that's a great feature from YouTube, and they've only recently, it's about, for five months old in um, the community tab. And I have put information there before and it's been pretty effective, I have good responses. So I want to keep on using that. And um, so please do visit it because if you don't see me on the channel on a regular basis, because I'm hoping to upload three times a week. Now that three times a week won't start until 20, January, 2019. So the next time we're going to be uploading will be Wednesday. Hello, <laughs> Monique. Hello. Where are you from? Got one person in the chat. Um, so um, I, I, I'll be going on. I'll be doing it on a Wednesday, and it was sewing techniques, and it will be refashioning um, of old or new garments. And oh yeah, that's another thing that I want to mention is the refashioning projects. I enjoy doing the refashioning projects. Um, so I need to. I need you to let me know. Hello, hi, okay. Um, so um, the refreshing projects, the reason why I, I want to do the refreshing projects because it's playing a part in sustainability of fashion. There's so many clothing and it concerns me, um, it concerns us all that we need to slow down the process of us making so many garments and the, um, all these garments throughout the world are not worn that often. And, you know, they are going to waste. So going into landfill. So it concerns me a little bit. And I think that's one way of helping people who are beginners into sewing to refashion old clothing. Oh, that everyone's coming through. Thank you so much. Really do. Thank you, Caroline, Caroline uh, Michelle. Uh, oh, wow. Sorry, I can't. Read your last name, Mitchell. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, so um, regarding the fashion, refashioning projects, um, like I said, I am. Um, it's to me, it's geared towards more of the beginners um, who are literally afraid of cutting into fabrics. And I've met students who are literally petrified to cut fabric. Once the patterns are on, and the, you know, they like their pattern pieces. I'm like, 
my God, where do I start? Where do I cut? Oh, what have I cut it wrong? And, it's, and the panic is just, it's, it's, it's unreal. It really is unreal. So one of the ways to introduce students into that that I've found is to um, is to cut into old clothing or new clothing. And they're, they're more than willing to get a pair of scissors and chop sleeves off and chop cuts off and chop, you know, waistbands off and stuff. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> and, and yeah, I don't quite get that, but there is a fear with some students to actually cut into fabric, um, even when their patterns are laid out. So I want that to be part of my channel, but if it doesn't go in that direction, it doesn't go in that direction. If it's so long as you want me to go into that direction, then that is fine. I'm happy with that too. So yeah, so I covered the, re, um, the refreshing of projects and make sure to visit the community page. I think what I'll do in the community page um, once I've finished on this is I'll just put a little poll on there. So once you've watched this, doesn't have to be now, depending on which part of the world you are. You know, if, if you're watching this and it's really late, just go to bed. <laughs> and then, you know, come visit YouTube in the morning and then, you know, answer the poll. So I'll, I'll do a little poll um, so that I can get some feedback from that poll. So it's the poll I've mentioned, the refashioning of um, projects. I hope I'm not speaking too fast. I think I am. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah. Um, and we're going to use hashtags so and I've also mentioned that I need to know from you whether you want me to do um so longs with a pattern or do you want to watch me I say so along if that makes sense yeah doesn't it designing drafting my pattern and also um sewing now um this won't begin until next year like I said I'll, um, from this point on I'll only upload until the end of the year because there's so much as we're coming to the end of the year and you know holidays are coming um it only makes sense to start this 2019 and it will be January 2019 so um I'll make sure that you are aware of it by visiting the community page um I may come on and do a, a, a another YouTube live fingers crossed it it, it works first time um so I just need your input to make sure that happens. And also, if you can also let me know of any requests that you want from me as regards, you know, any sewing techniques or any refashioning ideas. Um, um, and if you would also want to be part of the design process of me designing anything. So um, let's say, for example, that, you know, majority of you do want to watch me just design my collection for, you know, spring, summer, autumn, winter, um, and you want to be involved in the design process, then, yeah, if you want to see that, that's fine. Yeah, that, that'd be interesting, actually. I've never done anything. I don't think I've ever done anything like that where people have been involved in my design process. It's usually me as a lecturer being involved in students. <laughs> process of um, making sure you know their idea is going to work or not even when I was at university no it didn't happen at university yeah no it didn't happen at university um it's yeah I was, I was quite I, I'm quite talented when it comes to designing because um I'll, I'll share this with you because at, at one point um I, I was voted UK's top contemporary designer in the UK, one of the top five. Um, so my design talents are quite out there um, when I was much younger. I've got to say when I was much younger, but I don't think age has got to do with anything anyway. Um, it's up to you how you want to style yourself. And hello, <laughs> hello everyone. <laughs> I've got so many nice places in the world. Oh my God. <laughs> like your share. Love your channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so uh, where was I? Oh yeah. So um, so if you want to know more about me, um, I think I will do a little video about that. Um, and one because I don't like to, as we say in the UK, brag, and but I do think it's important that you are aware of who is teaching you certain techniques because on YouTube and there are so many bad, bad 
teachings around garment construction and I've got to praise the people who do put good content out there and are great teachers and, and also it's up to you to find the best person that you enjoy their teaching style so it may not be my style maybe somebody else's style and that's fine as long as it is um you you are getting um, the results that you want so that's going to be very important so i need to make sure that um i'm not just saying because i've been to, um, to university that that is going to be the grounds for you coming to my channel and because you know i'm I've got my teacher certificate and I've been to university. Can I just say before <laughs> that I had all these skills before I went to university. I didn't go to university until I was in my late thirties. So when I went to university um, to do fashion design, um, yeah, I, it's it was an eye opener and it was very surprising um, and it was difficult as a mature student. There was three three mature students, um, you know. Who who are in there with young nineteen year olds, twenty twenty one year olds? Um, so yeah, but I just think I have a good ability to teach because I've always done that before I also went to university. Oh, so true. Thank you. That is so true. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just reading in the comments here. Your teaching tips and examples are so helpful. Thank you. <laughs> um, so um, yeah. So it's, it is it is a case of what I've been told from students in the real world let's put it um is that yeah, the way i teach is kind of like i don't know you know I, it's you know i'm gonna blow my own trumpet why not it's it's kind of like on the amazing side because i love the challenge of being in a room full of students who have all different um, learning abilities and i like people challenging me to make sure that by the time they leave my session that they've learned something, whether they are, if you like, um, a learner that's finding it a little bit difficult to understand what's going on, they are in the back of my mind and I'll go at their pace. And then you find students who are, are quicker picking up information who need to be challenged a bit more because they've done what you've asked. And it's like, okay, you've done what I've asked. And yeah, believe me, <laughs> I'm going to make sure that you leave my class thinking about the whole process and how you can make more improvements to what you're doing so um i just wanted to kind of put that out there to let you know that i'm all about sharing my skill and knowledge and that is what i want to do that is my objective being on youtube i originally came on youtube to um help teachers actually that was that's my original um, intent when i came on youtube was to help teachers um, but they struggled in the UK, whether you're at college or university or in schools, in my opinion, it's not taught well at all. It is not taught well. And I had the opportunity to part there how I think it should go. And my first approach was to help teachers. And sadly, it was a case of they were moaning too much and it's like okay when there is something my hands are just all over the place aren't they um when you are faced with situations within these establishments there's things you can't do it, it, it's just the way that it is so stop worrying about it and just do what you have control of yeah you've got um, you, you know the course leaders telling you you've got they want this results from you know from the students and you know whatever it is and i find that students lecturers are worrying about that too much and teachers are worrying about that too much when they don't have any control. You have control once you have your students in your room, whether it's for an hour, an hour and a half, they are going to be your students for that time. And then you have an opportunity to be in control of that situation. But it came, it came across that I was struggling to get that information across. And so I continued to put information on youtube and then a sewing community came along and it's like so th this is quite new to me because i've been involved in sewing years ago because my mum used to serve clients and i used to have a business as well where i actually served for clients for um a short period of time but that's that, that is totally another <laughs> another video um and yeah sewing for clients um i'll probably do a video about that as well because nothing has changed in what 25 30 years the thinking 
behind it, which is so sad. Um, but uh, when, when it came to YouTube and me putting that information out there for teachers, it wasn't effective. It was just moaning and going into these forums and it's more moaning. It's like, oh gosh. And then the sewing community found me and it's like, oh Colleen, can you show me how to do this? Colleen, can you show me how to do that? And it's like, wow. There's so many people who want to actually learn this skill and it's amazing. And it can, it, it's kind of like lifted me a bit because I think I was a little bit down in dungeons because so many um, people were just kind of like moaning and it's like, oh, right. So it's like when it came across a sewing community, it's like so many talented sewers out there, so many people who actually want to make their own garments. And I've got to say, you are amazing. And I am so fortunate that um, that I have the establishment, if you like, um, education, knowledge behind me. And I now have the sewing community behind me. Um, but the thing is, the sewing community don't realise how strong you are. You are an amazing community. Now, look, this is how amazing you are. Anybody who came up to me and asked me, Colleen, right, I want to do fashion design. And could you recommend a university or a college that I should go to? The first thing I would say to them, if you want to be successful, where you should be going to learn your skill is a sewing community. Full stop. The sewing community. There's so much talent here. It's it's just amazing. And I, I know from coming from teaching in um, college and university for such a long period of time and being held back and the frustrations of these organizations, in, in my opinion, do not know what they're doing. <laughs> Hello, they need to visit the sewing community and let the sewing community educate them. It's so much I could actually teach you, it's, it's, it's amazing. So stay in the sewing community, you are amazing. In my opinion, it's only a matter of time before the sewing industry topples the fashion industry. Sewing industry here, fashion industry here. Because we are on goal. We are on targets to make sure that the next generation realise that the skill of sewing for yourself, whether it's fashion sewing, whether you call it fashion sewing or sewing, I'm writing a bit here, aren't I? <laughs> I do apologise. Um, it's, it's, it's just amazing um so i would actually recommend people to come along and be involved in the real world and see what customers out there are looking for if you want to be educated about design pattern drafting and also garment construction it's within its own community you are going to get a vast amount of knowledge really it's it's just yeah i'm yeah i'm just so amazed <laughs> Hi D, right, I've got some messages here. Oh, thank you. Can I just say thank you all very much for your patience and me coming on here in such a late hour. Hi Connie, I love your channel. You ever consider designing your own sewing patterns? All right, D just asked me, um, <laughs> love your channel, would you ever consider designing your own sewing patterns? Uh, that'll be a bestseller. Oh, thank you. Hi <laughs> Connie. Oh, North Texas, I love your channel, thank you. Um, you know what? Yeah, I've been telling you that I've been working on two projects. Okay, I'll tell you one project. Yeah, I'm coming out with my own sewing pattern range. So I'm actually designing that at the moment. I'm also drafting the own sewing patterns. Um, so yes, yay. Um, but my approach is going to be very different from sewing patterns that are out there. And obviously I'm going to show, share it with my sewing community first. So um, that, that will come January as well. So I'm really, so I'm sharing that with you. I can't believe it. I put to keep it as a secret, you know. Oh, D, really? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. But the approach to doing this is going to be different. But I think it's it's what is missing from the sewing community, my approach to doing this. And I think it came about because a lot of people were asking me um how to do certain techniques from um, sewing pattern companies that are out there. And it's like, I don't understand why you're asking me. You need to go on to a sewing company and tell them to explain to you the instructions on these instruction sheets. Because I do, I do appreciate that you are coming to me and I'll try my best to help. 
But at the same time, it's their responsibility to make sure that their customers understand their products that they're selling to them. So um, I have kind of like made sure that the information that I give out there is as brief as possible, but they need to get their app together because this community is only going to grow. So when I have my sewing patterns out there, um, I, I, you know, I, I will appreciate the fact that I get feedback from you if I'm going in the right direction, which I believe I am because I know this is missing from the um, sewing pattern industry. Um, so I'm, I'm really I'm excited about that. I really, really am. So I'm looking forward to sharing with that come January. So exciting. Um, but I'll let you know more about it near the time. Wow. I'll be the first Mickey. Oh, thank you, D. Might as well be amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm, I've been doing research on sewing patterns that are out there now, and there are some good ones. There are some amazing ones. But I've also been um, told that there isn't enough for more intermediate to advanced sewing. And that's kind of the little direction in which I am going. But I do believe that it is a beginner will be able to follow my patterns because I want that to happen. I really do. And I do believe that a beginner will be able to start with a sewing pattern um, with me more or less the beginning I'm putting more pressure on my teaching skills now but um yeah I would like to be yeah I think I think that's going to be the approach from the research that I've done that there is there is excellent um video so patterns that are out there for beginners and I think it's a little bit saturated so I want to go in there just a little bit above and, and make them a little bit more intermediate and also a little bit more advanced and I'll also make sure that they're, they're not too much on the um Contemporary side, let's put it that way. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So right now that I've kind of um, <laughs> ranted a little bit, um, I'll just go back to making sure that um, I'm getting the response that I want from initially the sewing series. So I want to thank everybody for um, sharing and commentating on my sewing um, sewing sewing series so um can I just have feedback for myself if you want it to be a sewing well now that I told you about my sewing pattern and that will definitely happen so um the sew along is going to happen what can I say it's a sew along will happen so um with, with only my patterns I will not do sew alongs with anybody else's pattern whether it's an indie pattern or whether it's one of the top four patterns but there's only there's yeah there's four sewing pattern companies but it's owned by one company now um i believe that's the calls um so um i won't be doing any of their patterns so if i'm going to do a sew along it will be my pattern so therefore i think the channel could cope with me doing doing that because um it's i'm, I'm not sure how many patterns I'll, I'll have in a year um but i'll definitely do sew alongs to that but if you also want to see me do um my my collection from the design from the patterns from the patterning and also construction then i'll work that into my work my workflow um, at the moment i'm just oh, oh my band i definitely need i definitely need a double of me i definitely need a double of me um but i'm really excited about two things the way my channel is going now and also youtube are helping creators with all the features that they are giving us, which is amazing. So um, yeah, um, I'm, um, I've got a few more comments that are just coming through now. So I'm going. I live on the test. I hope you're the best. Thank you, thank you, Dee. But thank you. I'm sure they will be amazing. Oh, I'm going to That's Patricia Barnes, who's a beginner. <laughs> oh, bye. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks. So right, I've got I've got support already. So. No pressure. <laughs> Hello. No. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you all very, very much for joining me. And sorry for the late start. Um, I'm going, I'm kind of rounding it up now because it's coming to the, the hour. Um, it's coming to nine o'clock. So and I know some of you are probably dying to go back to bed or go to bed and um, enjoy the rest of your evening. So let me just say thank you for... Um, your ideas on the pocket for the first series. I'm glad you enjoyed the coat. 
it was a little bit of a challenge and I haven't done a reversible coat in years. Um, I think you mentioned one of my videos. Um, I did have a reversible coat for, which I think it's back in my 20s, I think. I'm not sure one of my sisters, I don't know what happened to it. Maybe one of my sisters took it at the time, I really don't know. Um, uh, oh yeah, there's one more thing that I forgot to mention. With the coat, um, there actually comes a bag. So, and that's another thing, I don't like having leftover fabric. I tend to buy a lot more of my coat fabrics, in, you know, when it comes to um, <laughs> centimetres, uh, a metre of fabric. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm not part of this, um, you know, disposing of fabric because it's, you know, large pieces that are left over. So if there is, I'll always make something out of what's left over. Hence the red suit where I made a clutch bag. And, and, I, and I extended the waistcoat into a dress, even though my original design was just for a waistcoat. So those things will always play in my mind that I use as much as my fabric. So if you want to know what the bag looks like, I will be putting it up on my Instagram. Um, if you want me to put it up on YouTube, I will definitely do. Actually, I will actually put it in the in the community. I'll put it on the community page so you can actually, you know, people who don't like to go to Instagram, I'll put it on my community page and also Instagram. So yeah, I'm, I've cut the pattern out now, and I've got an event to go to next week. So hopefully, I'll um, I'll, I'll have it finished and completed by then. So and um, thank you for the ideas on the pockets, and I've mentioned the changes that YouTube are making, which are uh, positive in my opinion um which i'm happy for i can't wait to do that a meet up um 2019 springtime around about that time um but there's going to be a sew along of my sewing patterns and if you want me to do a sewing series um with me just designing and you know you watching me design i'll have to just make sure that i can kind of maneuver that around in my sewing space because my sewing space at the moment in my studio is is half sewing and half kind of you know filming in video space and big lighting and everything and oh sometimes it's just a drama when I'm getting in there I don't know whether I'm coming or going um uh so let's see and then we've got the hashtag and then yeah I'm going to do a community poll oh yeah and do let me know about the refashioning of projects because I do think it is a good start for beginners to actually get you know see how garments are constructed and put together and you know refashioning and make it in, uh, into another new garment so yeah thank you um let me see just some comments before i go <laughs> all right so we've got pretty shape pieces on that is gone well i definitely will do um i'll definitely put that um um the 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 bag and the bit on the coat on my community page so do visit the community page uh, patterns will be Yes, Sue, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it, um, it, it, it probably won't be the, the, the first, my first um, pattern collection probably won't be the uh, coat, but we'll definitely build an, on that because um, I'd like to make a bag that goes with a coat because now I've got, I'm building a collection of coats that have a bag that goes with it for some reason. And I think it started with the fact that I don't want to throw away fabric. So um, yeah, it will definitely be in one of my sewing, sewing pattern collections, a coat, yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I see what's coming in the near future. We think our sewing videos. Yes. <laughs> oh, um, the name that I'm under in my sewing, in my Instagram is uh, Colleen Geely. So it's, is it? Oh. Yeah, in Instagram's Colleen Geely. I can't remember if it's an at Colleen Geely. Right, okay. So I'm just checking through some more comments. Oh, thank you. Thank you for, you know, the support of um, my sewing patterns yeah i can't wait for them to to be out as well and do please you know support other um other people within the, the within the industry you know we do want to grow and it's looking all positive and anybody who's got a youtube channel out there keep on top of it um we can only grow together and um 
I'm, I'm more than willing to um, help other YouTubers and so collaborations and that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm here for you. So let's all grow together. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Charlotte. Oh, thank you all very much. So, um, yeah, sorry for the bad start at the beginning. I need to stop apologising. It was out of my control, but I eventually got there. So um, thank you. I am now going to go to the community page and put the poll up. And um, what are we are now we're on Friday. So I will put up a video on Wednesday and be Wednesday, every Wednesday until the end of the year. And then when it comes to 2019, then I'll go three times a week minimum. So I hope everyone is um, going to be happy with that. <laughs> Old, not sure. hi, hi, hi there. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so um, yeah, do go along to community page and I put the poll up there. It doesn't have to be now, it doesn't have to be now, um, you know, but uh, I do want your vote. So that gives me some idea of what direction I need to go, to go with. And I'll, I'll keep you updated on the community page. So thank you all very much for your kind comments and um, thank you for, <laughs> for wanting to buy my plans that are not just there yet. So um, thank you very much. So uh, I'll say good morning, good night, <laughs> good evening, wherever you are in the world and thank you.